What is going on YouTube? This is your boy Pat. In today's video, I'm going to teach you my step-by-step -step technique, how I take a keyword and gather all the information from your competitors in order to rank above them, right? As an SEO, you want to make sure all your decisions are based off of data. You don't want to be guessing, oh, I think this keyword might work. I think this keyword might rank. You want to make sure you have a data-driven analysis in order to understand how you can rank for that keyword. So let's jump into my laptop, shall we? What is going on guys? Now we are in my laptop. So first things first, there's gonna be two Google Chrome plugins that you're going to need in order to do this successfully. Now, the way you first determine if you can rank for a certain keyword is first, let me bring up a so first things first is you want to make sure that your keyword is relevant, right? You want to make sure it's relevant to whatever niche or business that you are. Uh, you want to make sure it's related to a service, a product, uh, any type of value that you can offer to people, right? You don't want to, if you're, if your website's about dogs, you don't want to write a blog about cats or turtles, right? It just wouldn't make sense. So you first you want to make sure it's relevant because that's one of the top ranking factors for Google in 2020 is, is your blog, is your content relevant to your website, right? And then, and then you want to make sure that the keyword is in your domain authority right so you want to make sure the keyword is within your domain authority so if your da is let's say 10 you want to go after keywords make this a little smaller you want to go after keywords that are anywhere from 0 to 20. you can go pretty much 10 under or 10 above and you should be fine whenever you're trying to target a new keyword, right? So if you're a brand new website and you're starting off at zero, you don't want to target keywords that are 40, 50, 60 uh, in keyword difficulty because you're simply not going to be able to rank for it if you're a brand new website. You want to work your way up, start from keywords that are from uh, zero to 10 if you're a brand new website. In this case, we're a DA of 10. So we can go from anywhere to zero to 20 and we should be fine as long as our on page is good to go. So after you determine relevancy, domain authority, last thing you want to do is you want to make sure you get your on page down, right? And I'm going to be going step by step on how I actually how I actually determine uh, the how I actually determine how to do my on page from your competitors, right? First step is to do your competitor analysis. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Now let's get into the actual tutorial. So first you're going to need the Moz bar. As you can see up here, I already have it installed, but if you don't, just go ahead and type in Moz bar Chrome. Should be the first one to come up. And then just go ahead and add this to Chrome. As you can see, I already have it installed. But go ahead and install it and make an account it's free and then the next thing the next plugin you're going to want to do is the seo minion so just go ahead and type in seo minion and again it's the first one that pops up just go ahead and download this okay it's going to save you a lot of time when you're doing your competitor analysis okay and once you download them you should have them up here in your uh in your plugin section so should be good to go all right guys let's say we want to rank for grub tulips right this is our keyword right here i put it into ahrefs now you can use any uh keyword tool you like ahrefs SEM rush boz uber suggests uh whatever works for you but i'm using ahrefs and as you can see it gives me a keyword difficulty of eight which it, it lets me know that it's easy right and it even tells you how many backlinks you would need now don't pay attention to this right now you first want to 
focus on your own page right your own page is very powerful still in 2020 and it should be the first thing that you take care of before you begin to before you begin to build your links so let's go into uh, google search and you can see i already did the google search for growth tulips right and everything that we need to know on how to rank for this keyword google is giving us right like google gives you the blueprint on how to rank for this keyword right you can go in and see the top 10 competitors see what they're doing and replicate it but do it better right and the best way to do this is to gather data from each of these from each of these pages that are ranking go ahead and put them in to a spreadsheet that i made and you guys can copy the same technique right um, so basically this is the this is the spreadsheet that we have right just think google sheets so we have the keyword so we have the keyword right here and it's grow tulips then we have the word count number of pictures number of time the keyword appears we have uh, h2 h3 h4 h5 and h6 right if you're if you do any type of seo you should probably already know what this is okay so the way you use this is you go into your search result right and let's go to the top results and gather our information that we need so the reason we want to use the moz bar is because it's going to give us an idea of the domain score that they use right you can see domain authority is 54 as you can see the domain authority is 54 right so you want to make sure that your domain is within uh is within the same numbers as the top ranking factors right um and then once you get on this page you want to go ahead and click on your seo minion and what this is going to do is going to bring up this pop-up and you're going to want to click on analyze on page seo and this right here is going to give you everything you need to know on how to rank on the first page of Google. First thing you want to do is you want to take a look at the number of words that this particular page has. So it has 1,670 words. So you're going to take that number and you're going to, and you're going to put it into your spreadsheet, right? So you're going to do 160, 70 word count, number of pictures, number of pictures. It says total images, 21. You're going to put your, pictures 21 number of time the keyword appears so let's go ahead and do command f and let's put in our keyword tulips okay so it appears six times go ahead and put that in there and then we're going to put the number of time each of these appear or how many of each do they have so we're going to go in here and you're going to press sort by type it should already have it go to show all headings and it's going to let you know all the headings that this page has right so you can just go in here and quickly try to count them up uh, your h1 you should always only have one of these okay so i i don't take that in mind because you only want to have one h1 always and you want to count up all these h2s you can see they have a bunch of them so let's go ahead and just quickly count these up okay so it looks like they have 56 of these, 56 H2s. Let's see the H3s. So then they have 12 H3s and it looks like they don't have any of these. So we'll just leave them blank. And you're gonna continue this process, right? With all, with at least the top 10 competitors. Okay, so just go ahead one by one just go in the go into the page that's ranking click your seo minion analyze on page take each of these metrics and just put them down in your spreadsheet right so 3244 words 3244 words number of pictures 41 just put in there 41 number of keywords let's go ahead command f grow tulips shows up four times and then H2, let's see how many they have. One, two, three. So they have nine H2 and one 
H3 and none of these. So let's go into the W3 result. So as you can see guys, this is a pretty, it's pretty simple to do. And the way we want to do this is because you want to base your SEO uh, decisions off of the data, right? You don't just want to make up stuff that's not going to work, stuff that's not going to rank. And that's where a lot of SEOs uh, can mess up or waste a lot of time on, right? So 4,254 words. All right, number of pictures. 35 total images just go ahead and put that in there uh, number of keywords let's get out of this let's get out of this pop-up and let's just grow tulips only shows up once h2s let's bring it back up h2s looks like they have 16 of those and then h3 all right guys i'm going to i'm going to fast forward through the next couple of these i think you guys got it but just for the sake of this video all right guys so i did a few other ones i just didn't want to show the entire process on the video because it would take a long time to do so i went ahead and did the top I believe eight results here so what this data lets you know is as you can see you don't have to just spam your page with with the keyword you want to rank for right that simply doesn't work anymore and this is a good example of that as a couple of these only a couple of these only have it once and this particular one didn't even have the keyword at all right and again the word count here as you can see some are ranking the number one ranking position only has a thousand six hundred and you can see some of the ones that are ranking below them have over four thousand words so you can see that the number of words doesn't necessarily mean you're going to rank higher but what you want to do is whoever answers this search query the best that's the one that google is going to reward that first position spot okay as long as you get all the rest of the on-page factors on point right so once you get the data with it so once you get uh so i got eight but i would so i i so i did eight competitors but if you could do uh 10 that would be even better because you're going to get better data off of that so what you want to do is you just want to highlight these go over to here and just get the average right and you're going to do these for each one of these all right guys, so once you average all of these, these these are the numbers you wanna pay attention to, right? Because this is the average of what you wanna have of each of these in order to make sure that you're gonna be ranking on the first page as long as you have good original content, right? Now, if now usually you would also wanna do the H5s and H6, but in this particular search query, a lot of the pages didn't even have an h5 or h6 so don't worry about that and like i said i don't count the h1s because you should only have one h1 on every single page and it should be your main keyword that you want to rank for so what we have here is the average word count the average number of pictures and the average number of keyword appearances that we should have right and then we have average number of h2s and so forth okay so as you can see taking your competitors strategies is giving you the blueprint on how you can rank on the first page of google for any keyword right as long as you do your keyword research right and that can be a whole nother topic right there's a lot of steps that go into that but as long as you pick a keyword that's relatively easy to rank for such as this one you should be good to go as long as you follow this step right now <laughs> So I hope you guys learned something new. Make sure you leave me a like and subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot more of these step-by-step -step tutorials. And I hope you guys have a good one.